Today, we're launching the biggest ever crowdfunding campaign for a movie. We're going to make a TV film about Kermit Gosnell. Kermit Gosnell is the most prolific serial killer in American history, but almost no one knows who he is. The media have basically ignored his crime and his trial. He ran an abortion clinic in Philadelphia where he delivered live, viable babies and then murdered these newborns by separating their spinal cords with scissors. One of the things I say regularly on this program is that culture trumps politics and that we need to get involved to change the stories that are told. Tonight, I want to tell you about a chance for you to do that, for you to be involved in making an important movie, one that Hollywood won't make. Phelan McAleer is the man behind him. You saw that in that video right there. No stranger to this program. He's the man behind one of the people behind Frack Nation, along with his partners. And he joins us now from Los Angeles. Phelan, uh, welcome back and congratulations on kickstarting this program. Uh, you're looking to raise how much money and, and give us details on this TV movie. We're re looking to raise $2.1 million. That'll make it the biggest ever ask for a crowdfunded movie. And we think it's important that, that, that this is a historic amount because this is a historic movie. It's about the biggest serial killer in American history, probably in Canadian history too. Uh, it, it's, he, Kermit Gosnell was an abortion doctor in Philadelphia who murdered hundreds and uh, actually probably thousands of babies over a 40-year career. And I mean murdered in the sense he would induce labor into, in women who were seven or eight months pregnant. And then, uh, I don't want to go into too brutal details, but he would stab the babies uh, to death when they were born. Live, viable babies, some of them crying. Um, so that's the movie we want to make. He, he's been convicted of several murders. He's serving life sentences. But he, Hollywood, he, and yeah, go ahead. He, he, he you know, late-term abortion doctor, and he would do several illegal abortions a week. He had no oversight for years, for decades. Uh, and he continued to operate what was, has been called a house of horrors. Um, why on earth has Hollywood not made this movie? Well, I, you know, I don't know the facts, but I suppose the reality is you're more likely to find a, a Hollywood executive at a Planned Parenthood fundraiser than trawling the internet looking for stories like Kermit Gosnell or going to trials in Philadelphia looking for a great story. That's just the way they are. Um, and that's great because it allows us now to come in and tell our story, use crowdfunding, go to gosnellmovie.com. That's where people can go to, to make this happen. The great thing about crowdfunding is it, it gets past the Hollywood executives. They can go to their Planned Parenthood fundraisers and we can make our own movies and get them on yeah. TV. Uh, so if, you, if you're successful in this and you need to raise $2.1 million for, for this to go ahead, if you don't raise your goal, all the money that's pledged goes back to the people that pledged it. But let's say someone's sitting at home and you can give everything from $1 up to, I think, 10000 is the highest you're asking for? What, what yeah, do you well, get well, actually, for that? Yeah. Well, you get all sorts of rewards. I mean, for $25, you get a DVD of the film. For $50, you get two DVDs. For $100, you get, I think, four DVDs, including our other films. Then for, for different, you know, it goes up. For, for $8,000, you can get a role in the movie. Uh, I think it's for $5,000, you can be an extra. They're all there on gosnellmovie.com. For $10,000, you can join us for a, a pub crawl in Dublin. Um, <laughs> that sounds so, like fun, and I, I might pay yeah. that just for it. Uh, yes. But, but what do you do with the money? If someone's, you know, and I highly encourage people to consider this. Um, you know, you're not going to get a tax receipt for this. Uh, you're not going to, you know, get some investment back. But if you have the money, consider doing this. But, uh, Phelan, maybe you can tell people what you'll do with the money. You're not going to turn around and, uh, you know, buy a timeshare in a corporate jet and start eating caviar. But what will you do if you raise the $2.1 million or more? Well, if we don't raise the $2.1 million, all the money uh, goes back to you, to, you, to your account. Uh, we never see it. So if we raise the $2.1 million, we will make a TV movie. Uh, we can do that. And it'll be on a TV channel next year or at the end of this year. Uh, we're going to, you know, th there's a long genre in Hollywood of, of these TV dramas based on serial killers, based on, on true crime. The, the Lifetime channel is devoted to, to nothing but, really. So we'll make a, a TV movie uh, revealing the, the life and crimes of Kermit Gosnell. And I, but th I think this will allow you to, to, to hire... Uh 
you know, a an experienced screenwriter or director and, yep. and hire the actors? Yeah, and hire a, a big name actor. We can definitely afford a big name actor and that like that. And you know, that's what these TV movies are like. They have one big name actor, other other actors, and a, a good screenwriter, a good director. You know, and make a entertaining drama that will bring into every home in America and Canada the truth about this man's crimes and and some truths about abortion that that even I didn't know before I attended the trial. You know, I'm a journalist and I learned a lot about abortion and I was shocked by what I learned. Uh, when I went to the trial. So I think people uh, who want the truth to get out there should, you know, should help us out, should go to gosnellmovie.com, give whatever you can can. You can give $1, you can give up to $10,000. Actually, with Indiegogo, the, the, the site we're going to, you can give up to $50,000. So please do. Um, let's, let's make a movie. Let's get the truth out there. And let's bring the truth about this man's crimes and the truth about abortion into every home. In All America right. and I think we've got about 30 seconds left. I need to throw a question at you that was put to me on social media. Uh, we were tweeting out stories about this all weekend, trying to, uh, to help you out with this. Mm -hmm. People said, is he going to be glorifying Gosnell or glorifying abortion? I think you've made that clear, but uh, 20 seconds to respond. No, I'm going to be telling the truth. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be glorifying everything. Uh, you can make a movie about someone's crimes. And, you know, there are victims here too. He killed women as well. Uh, as, as the grand jury said, he was allowed to keep killing because his victims were, were women of, who were poor and of color, and the, the, the vic other victims were infants without identity. So we'll be looking at the victims, we'll be looking at the prosecutors and the police who brought America's biggest serial killer to justice. Uh, we'll not be glorifying Karen McGosnell or his crimes, but we'll be putting sunlight on them. All right. Phelan, thanks for coming in. Best of luck and keep us updated. Thanks, Brian.